A very good morning to our dear teachers and students of GGIS. Today, on Global Tigers Day, Grade 6 Esgar is going to present a virtual assembly on the importance of conservation of tigers. Every year, this day is celebrated as a way to raise awareness about this magnificent but endangered big cat. Let's begin the day with our prayer. Join your hands and close your eyes. Thank you, God, for your world. There is so much to discover, so much to know, so much to see, and so much to do. Your world is so exciting. Thank you, God, for making me a part of it. Amen. Let's begin our assembly. Some of my friends are eager to know as to why the tiger population in the wild has been decreasing in the past few decades. Not all people understand why we need to save these creatures. Our class would like to share their views on the conservation of tigers. Tiger population is decreasing rapidly. I was curious to know more about that. So, I read few books and researched with my classmates. Yes, we sure did and were thrown off our feet by our findings. Did you know that the tiger population has decreased by 96.8% in the past two decades? Although I've only seen a tiger once, I'm fascinated by these creatures. They are the largest cats and unlike most of them, love water. They live for about 20 to 26 years. That's a lot for a mammal. It is often said that dying is the rule of the jungle. But is that actually true? Dying is the rule of the wild, the living and surviving is as well. That doesn't mean that we ruthlessly kill every animal for our selfish gains. Every animal has a life worth living and we can't ruin that. That is absolutely right. People think that the life of tiger does not matter. That is not true. The death of each and every tiger matters. Estimated 600 tigers poached in India each year. Many people think that tigers don't deserve to live just because they harm or kill many people every year. But that is not true at all. Tigers only kill or harm people just because they threaten them or trouble them a lot. Tigers kill people, true, but not until needed for their safety. We humans, on the other hand, kill them for money, luxurious item, etc. There is a definite decrease in the tiger population in the wild. Just one tiger can get you more than 36 lakhs in the black market. And as tiger skin has become very popular in the past few decades, a lot of people find poaching tigers a money-making job. Yes, a lot of people believe that tiger claws can bring you good luck. Tiger teeth are also popular in jewelry. If you connect the dots, you understand exactly what's happening here. What is poaching? Poaching is illegal killing of an animal. Tigers are poached for two main reasons their threat or perceived threat to wildlife, or people and monetary gain. Historically, tigers were poached for furs. Man from the very beginning has been involved in poaching to satisfy his greed for animal skin, bones and claws. Where are the places where these people kill innocent tigers? Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Karnataka are particularly unprotected places which attract poachers. These poachers sell the body parts of tigers to nearby places which gives them a good amount of money. Can tiger be saved though? We can save tigers with a little help. The good news is that scientists have agreed that the tiger population can recover as long as their landscapes are effectively monitored and protected. Endangered species come in all shapes and sizes 
and can be plant or animal. To be endangered, a species has to be almost gone or has to be extinct. Some of the world's most astounding creatures are endangered. So far, more than 96,500 species are on the red list. More than 26,500 are those are threatened with extinction. Starting in the year 1973, the Safe Tigers project is helping with tigers being on the list. Tiger conservation attempt to prevent tigers from becoming extinct and preserving their natural habitat. But why it is? Why should we try to prevent tigers? Numerous people just preserve tigers because they want to. It would be heartbreaking if future generations could only see tigers in books and on the internet but never with their eyes in reality. Additionally, nature is interconnected. Each and every animal in the ecosystem has its own role, and if either one of them die out, the whole ecosystem can fall. Tigers are at the top of their food chain, meaning that if they die out, the whole ecosystem could be disrupted due to overpopulation of their prey. Bengal tigers are the most common tigers. Tigers live between 20 and 26 years in the wild. Tigers can camouflage themselves very easily because of their black stripes. Tigers usually hunt at night. The most distant species is the white tiger. Uh, they're the most recognizable and popular the charismatic megafauna. We are emotional animals, but we are not the only animals with feelings. Elephants, monkeys, and tigers, all of these animals have emotions too. Tigers deserve to live as much as humans, and conserving their life is as important as protecting yours. An ode to the tiger, striped with fur, eyes bright, sparkling in the darkness of the night. So sneaky, he is so stealthy. They grew up so fierce, so healthy. True it is, if you trouble a tiger, it will show you its claws. His proud attitude, his strength, his paws. Dangerous, bold, stay away, beware. Where the prey is, he is aware. Even though humans should be afraid, it is the tiger that is scared. In this world, man-made, for nature or animals, Humanity never cared. Surely tigers might be wiped out because man's heart is a stone without a doubt.